Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury transcends the boundaries of ordinary literature, immersing readers in a dystopian realm where the flames of censorship and conformity threaten to consume the very essence of human thought. With each carefully chosen word, Bradbury crafts a narrative that serves as both a cautionary tale and a timeless exploration of the consequences of intellectual suppression set in an oppressive future society. The novel introduces us to Guy Montag, a firefighter whose duty involves not extinguishing fires but kindling them. Burning Books, the Forbidden Repositories of Dissenting Ideas. The title, Fahrenheit 451, refers to the temperature at which book paper supposedly catches fire and burns, symbolizing the incendiary nature of ideas that challenge the status quo. The narrative unfolds in a world where technological advancements and mass media have left people intellectually impoverished, trading profound contemplation for mindless entertainment. Bradbury's prose vividly depicts a society where critical thinking is discouraged and intellectual freedom is sacrificed at the altar of societal conformity. Montag's journey serves as the narrative's fulcrum a metamorphosis from a passive enforcer of censorship to a fervent seeker of knowledge and individuality. As he questions the purpose of his existence, the novel embarks on a philosophical exploration of the intrinsic value of literature, the dangers of complacency, and the resilience of the human spirit. At the core of Fahrenheit 451 is the symbolism inherent in fire, a tool of destruction and renewal. It represents the dual nature of knowledge, capable of both igniting enlightenment and fueling chaos. The narrative prompts readers to consider the transformative power of literature and the consequences of a society that fears the ideas within its own books. Bladebury's world-building transcends mere storytelling. It becomes a reflection of the anxieties and fears of the mid-20th century. The author extrapolates his concerns about the impact of emerging technologies and mass media on intellectual discourse, presenting readers with a cautionary vision of a future that might become our reality. The characters in Fahrenheit 451 serve as archetypes embodying different facets of the human condition. Montag's internal struggle resonates with readers, inviting them to contemplate their own relationship with knowledge, technology, and societal expectations on the supporting cast, including the enigmatic Clarice McClellan and the rebellious Professor Faber, contributes to the narrative's depth, each character representing a unique perspective on the value of literature. Bradbury's language is both poetic and incisive, creating a sensory experience that lingers in the reader's mind. His use of metaphors and vivid imagery amplifies the emotional impact making every page a journey into the recesses of the human sack. The recurring motif of fire serves as a let motif, threading its way through the narrative, embodying destruction, purification, and, ultimately, the potential for rebirth. The novel's prescience is another aspect that elevates it to the realm of literary brilliance. Bradbury's warnings about the dehumanizing impact of technology, the erosion of critical thinking, and the suppression of dissenting voices echo across the decades, making Fahrenheit 451 a timeless exploration of societal trends and their potential consequences. In conclusion, Fahrenheit 451 is not merely a book. It's a mirror reflecting the fragility of intellectual freedom, the transformative power of literature, and the perpetual struggle between conformity and individuality. As readers traverse the fiery landscapes of Bradbury's imagination, they are confronted with a stark choice. To passively accept the dictates of a society that fears knowledge or to embrace the flames of intellectual curiosity, risking the conflagration of their own complacency. Subscribe, like, and write in the comments which book should be next.